everybody, welcome to the fancy house. I'm Desiree. Um, I just thought I would like do a face to face since we're at the beginning of this journey and I don't know if you guys want to kind of tag along to see what uh, first time home buyers on a budget look like. Um, but we're totally here to share all the ups and the downs <laughs> of this adventure and hopefully make some mistakes um, so that you don't have to make them. So I'll just give you a little update on the house, um, where we're at, what we're doing, and um, get you up to speed, and then do a little tour of what we've done and what we hope to do inside the house. So first things first, I have to say, um, we moved from Toronto to Hamilton, um, because in Toronto we were looking at like one bedroom, 600 square foot um, condos, and really quite expensive maintenance fees. Um, and so here in Hamilton, we were able to spend a little bit of less, a little, a little bit less money, and get a much bigger um, house, and hopefully maybe like an investment. So we are treating this like that. Maybe in five or six years, we'll sell it, and we're trying to make it beautiful and uh, feel like a home uh, while we're here. So we are really lucky because some of the houses we were looking at were like complete gut jobs. Um, and one of the things that's kind of cool about this house is that the main floor, most of the main floor, the original main floor and the upstairs are actually quite lovely and very nice um, and actually don't need a lot of work. Uh, the problem with the main floor is there's two extensions and I just, I don't think the people who lived here before just did a super great job, like in the laundry room extension that's just off of the kitchen. Um, it's super cold and my husband realized it was because it's not insulated underneath. Um, so that's an issue. And then the back room, some of the walls had been repaired pretty crappily. And another thing too is the floor is quite slanted. So we're just kind of trying to figure out those things. But all in all, it's a very pleasant place to like put your key into and move out. Most of the like work is mostly outside and we'll have to get to that in the spring. Monty made an appearance. He's pretty happy going from like 525 square feet to a three bedroom, uh, to, well, it's a, there's a basement, but we don't let him go down there because it's it's not quite cat friendly yet. Um, anyway, I just thought what I'd do is I'm just gonna give you like a quick tour of the main floor and show you the few little things that we have done and then also um, what we're planning on doing and kind of like the timeline of those things. And then um, we don't have any furniture. It's delayed from Structube. Long story short, one of the things we ordered um, was may, way more delayed than we had anticipated. We thought we were gonna be getting our stuff at the beginning of November, now it's probably the beginning of December, but we actually have so much room to uh, work to do in that back room that it's, we're just kind of living like a studio apartment upstairs. <laughs> but here's the tour, thanks. So when you walk in, that's our front door, and we've actually ordered new windows and doors. So the new door is actually gonna be solid, but they won't be coming until like late winter, early spring, so for right now, that's our door but it is in pretty rough shape so this is our living room when you walk in so we did buy some curtains just from ikea um this we already had we just spray painted it kind of like white because it was just kind of silver before um we're playing around with some of the artwork we ordered these poofs from wayfair which i think are adorable so we're waiting on our couch um, we did actually purchase this from ikea i wanted another cabinet but it was way too expensive and i couldn't justify it my mom sent us the little snowman. Um, and we did paint the triangle on the wall just to add a little bit of oomph. We're kind of going for a gray and white vibe in here. And um, we just wanted to add a pop of color. So right off the living room is our dining room. We already had this and it was our bar cart in our condo. We just spray painted it yellow. It was white before and we spray painted the chrome too just so that it was like more unified. And those are my beautiful um, dating anniversary um, flowers from my husband. They're looking a little shabby now because they're a little bit old, but they were so beautiful. They're from a local florist here. That's actually a, um, a really cool lamp. When me and my husband were first dating, I told him there was this California company that made these awesome lamps that I really liked. And actually for Christmas, he got me one. And I think it's so cool. Um, we did, we put up some curtains. They kind of have a tiny subtle polka dot. This room is going to be pretty whimsical. Um, we're just waiting for our benches and chairs, and these were just stools we already had from our condo. They're just from Ikea. I'm sure everyone recognizes them. Um, and we're just playing with artwork for what we're going to do. There's Monty again. Um, yeah, but this is uh, so far the dining room. Not much to do. So as you guys can kind of gather, it's like one long kind of room. 
Um, this is goes to both the basement stairs and the extension that I was talking about that's so cold um, that has the laundry room. So my husband put up this cool barn door. So we got the hardware from Amazon. I know they're evil. I know. It's like such... Anyway, we don't need to get into ethical reasons. It's from Amazon. Um, and then the door was picked up from Home Depot. And it, we had a little bit trouble installing it, but it was actually pretty easy if you didn't make the mistakes we made. We didn't have long enough nails to hit the studs, um, but we figured it out and I think it looks pretty cool and it prevents Monty from getting in the basement. And that's just like a cute little powder room. And not much to be done. The kitchen's um, pretty much good to go and we really like it and we're literally doing nothing. So be here. kind. This is kind of where everything that doesn't have a home yet goes. So we're going to put our TV and another couch in here. Um, that goes out to the backyard. The deck is going to get redone in the spring. Um, we did get that from Ikea just for our coats and stuff because there's no actual closet on the main floor. We're hoping in the spring, if we, if we can, we're going to reside um, the outside of the house. And if that's the case, we think we just will take this door out. Um, we don't really need it. We're replacing all of the doors and windows except for that one. Um, and the sliding door will be replaced too. Um, and I just don't really feel like we need another door to outside when we have that one. So we think we might take rid of, um, get rid of that. And then we'll probably make this like a little gym and kind of office for me. Um, if you have any tips on how you think I should set it up, we're kind of confused on what to do. Um, please let me know. Thank you so much for checking out our little videos and um, joining along in the journey. I'm going to find out what company, that California company that did that cool lamp that Kev got me. Um, it was a few years ago now, so I don't know exactly what they have now, but I'll totally link the company because that's a really cool lamp. <laughs> um, and if there's anything else you saw and you want to know where it's from and I didn't say, um, or you need a link, just let me know. And also in that back room, I really do like the second half of the room, we need an office and we need, um, a little space to like do some quick little workouts. If you have like suggestions um, on what you think we should do, uh, that would be awesome. I know it's kind of hard when you just saw it quickly like that, but, or if you guys bought like a really cool desk that you're really digging, maybe something a little on the narrow side, or if you did like anything custom um, or DIY, like let me know, I'm totally into that. Anyway, um, thanks for joining in and we'll do upstairs tomorrow.